Valtor the Sorcerer, the Winks head to the Golden Kingdom. They have fought tough battles at the feet of Red Tower, but another ally has joined them. It's Ophir, the Young Wizard. Get your hands off my girlfriend! Nobody takes down my buddies and nobody hits on my girlfriend! You've got it all wrong, man! Hey, break it off, you two! Riven, Ophir's a good guy! Hey, I thought you were all out cold. We were, but then we were attacked by the Pegator guards from the Red Tower. Okay, then what about him and Musa? What? If anything, it's... Huh? Layla. Oh, um... Look, nothing's going on with me and Musa. Mm. Nice to see you go to bat for me, Riven. Mm. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you decided to join us. Me too. So that surf move on the Morphix board, I can't believe you know that too. Yeah, it's one of my favorite moves. I learned it from a wave wizard on Andras. Wave wizards are pretty awesome. I wonder what this says. It looks like some kind of ancient language. It says only magic creatures of noble heart and pure soul may enter. I guess it doesn't find us noble and pure enough. Obviously, we have to become miniature to get in. I wonder when that's supposed to happen. Faragonda said when the time is right. When the time is right? What does that mean anyway? When you're old enough to handle it? When you're big enough to be small? I don't know. I think they should just give us some sort of a timetable. We could use some fairy dust. Maybe that will get us in. I have an idea. Our fairy dust has anti-darkness properties, so if we sprinkle it on ourselves, we should remove all traces of darkness from our souls. What darkness? Everyone has a dark side to their character. Vanity, pride... Oh, yeah. Ugh. Well, hey, I say it's worth a try. Let's do it. Enchanted! Whoa, feel that? Yeah, I think it's working. I'm shrinking! Me too! Wow, this is so cool! Huh? We're in! 
Oh, it didn't work for me. My Enchantic's power wasn't earned the same way yours was. Miss Varagonda had warned me about possible limitations. It's okay. I'll have to sit this one out, but we must have the Water Stars if we're going to stop Valtor. Don't worry, Bloom. We'll get it done. Good luck, Tecna. And I'll be right here waiting for you, Musa. Go get him, Layla. Kind of like a celestial facial, except it's through your entire being. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm floating on air. Well, you are. We all are. Oh. Whoa, that was rather intense. Here's how you got walloped by those little gnats. I'll play it back in slow motion. Watch closely, ladies. Now, if word spreads that you were beaten by pixies, what effect do you think it'll have on my reputation? It was a fluke. A freak accident. Hey, what was that? I felt something strange. Yeah, it felt like a sunset, all warm and super gross. It was Ugh. a wave of positive energy, and it could only have come from one place, the Golden Kingdom. Show me the Red Tower. So, the Winks have gone to the Golden Kingdom to try to get the magic that can beat me. Here, take this. Go there and destroy Bloom, now. We're on it. Wait, shouldn't we watch this one more time, ladies? Do you know what the Pixies are doing right now? They're telling all their friends about how they beat you. And they're all laughing. Good. Now, take that rage and go get Bloom. You got it. That's my girl. She's your girl? You're all my girls. Now go. Oh, there seems to be no end to this pond. Look, there's something up above us. Let's go see what it is. Feels nice and cozy. <gasps> Please follow me. First, a guided tour, and then the elders will see you. On your right is Stardust from the very first wishing star ever to shoot across a night sky. Cool. And in the gold box is the very first spell ever cast. Uh, I wouldn't touch that if I were oh. you. Now, this is a portrait of our very own Arcadia. The very first fairy in history. <gasps> hmm. I was told the Council of Elders was meeting. It's the case of the Winx Girls. We're scheduled to meet them right now. I am Arcadia, Fairy of the Golden Kingdom, and we are the Council of Elders. And when she says elders, she means it. You could say that we've been around since the beginning of the magical universe. We are both part of time and outside of time all at once. Now who speaks for you? Hmm. Why are you looking at me? You are Stella of Solaria. Yep. Uh, uh I mean, yes ma'am. Speak. We're in this big battle with this bad guy named Valtor. We know of Valtor. Well, Valtor is partially made of dragon fire, just like my friend Bloom who couldn't come even though she wanted to. But anyhow, we thought if we could get the water stars, we could take away Valtor's power long enough for us to defeat him and, you know, save the universe. Yeah, I'd say that about sums it up. The water stars are indeed the opposite of the dragon fire. 
How badly do you want them? More than anything. If Valtor isn't stopped, he'll become so powerful he could take over the whole world, and who knows what would happen then. And you care more about the world than you care about yourselves? Well, duh. I mean, no offense, but doesn't everybody? We'll see. Three of you will enter the Great Crystal Labyrinth. If you are able to find your way out, we will give you the Water Stars. And if we don't? As we said, we are both part of time and outside of time, so if you can't find your way out of the Labyrinth, you will have to stay in it. You mean like forever? Hey, where are Layla and Flora? More importantly, where are we? How's this? Perfect! When you were under that spell, did you really feel love for Diaspora? Well, no. I'd say things that sounded like I did, but deep down inside, I was shocked by what I'd just said. As if my heart didn't agree with what my mouth was saying. And I never did kiss her, you know. Oh, well, that's good. So when you see me trying to get over your defense, it's just an illusion. I'm actually trying to come from under. Ugh! Hmm. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Nice! You see, the trick is, never let your opponent anticipate your battle moves. You're a cool dude. I like your style. Well, where'd you learn all this? Well, I grew up on this island where there were no kids my age and I had no friends to play with. So you see, I spent a lot of time hanging out with the security guards who taught me all their battle tricks. Sounds kind of lonely. It was. Sounds a lot like the kind of life Layla had. Yeah, well, I think Layla's totally amazing. I mean, I look at her face and I can't help but smile. Oh, uh, did I just say that out loud? Uh-huh. Sorry, please don't tell her that I said that. Don't worry. Mum's the word. All set! Huh? I'll take the first shot. Over the pond, off the rocks, and score! <laughs> yes! Now you guys try and match that one! When it comes to mazes, my strategy is follow the best-looking path. Uh, <laughs> see how pretty this one is? I'd rather play it by ear. Listen to this. Now that speaks to me. And I say use your head. Be logical. According to the law of probabilities, if you try each and every turn, you'll eventually find the exit. Well, I guess each of us is supposed to find her own way out of here. All right, girls. See you when I see you. Hmm, I wonder if there are any malls in here. Okay, this one hits the tree, flies over the pond, off the boulder, and score. No way, uh-uh. Yeah, way, just watch, buddy. Huh? Ah! Bingo! My turn! Huh? You're playing too, Bloom? Yeah, so? Careful, Riven. But I didn't say anything. Off the cliff, then the tree, over the pond, off the boulder, and score. Huh. Thank you. Yeah! Bloom, nice shot. Oh, my turn now. Let's see if I'm as good as you. Well, that was easy. Go left and then left again. <gasps> you have arrived at your destination. Yes, I knew logic would pay off. Through this door is a world of logic. Oh, wow. And through this door huh? is a world of feelings and joy. Choose a room, Techna, but know that whichever one you choose, it is final. You may never enter the other again. Then I choose this one. But the exit is in the other. If you really want the Water Stars, you must go into that room and give up emotions forever. Hmm. That's cruel! The choice is yours to make, Tecna.
<sighs> Goodbye, Timmy. But not slick enough. Uh, 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 thanks, I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool. <laughs> Twister oh. afraid! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Timmy, try to grab my feet! <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, Bloom. You don't stand a chance against me, Icy. I know, you have your big bad enchantix power now. Well, Valtor wanted me to give you this. Ancient Curse Dust. It's from the Dark Dimension. It renders you powerless. How do you like my chances now? Let's see, what should I do with you? I know. How about we reenact the night we first met? I seem to remember sealing you up in a block of ice. <laughs> Thanks, Sky. You know, that was actually kind of fun. Yes, it was. Uh-oh, here they come again. Okay, now look in the mirror, Stella. Hey, I don't look too bad. I could use a facial and maybe get my brow line waxed, but other than that, yikes. Oh, where, where's my face? Gone forever. You see, your exit is through this mirror. Beauty is what you must sacrifice. You mean this is what I'll look like from now on? Yes, if you want the water stars. Well, I don't have much of a choice then, do I? I'm so gonna miss you, darling. You have no idea. Musa! Huh? This is a place where time bends around in a circle. All that ever existed still exists here. Mom? Hi, Musa. Is that really you? Yes, sweetie. I must say you've grown up beautifully. Thanks. It's so great to see you. It's amazing. This really is your mother, Musa. If you go in, you'll be able to be with her, talk to her. But what about the water stars? The exit is through the other door. Tecna and Stella have already made it out. So if I go in there, we get the water stars? Yes. <gasps> Mom! Sweetie... I want to be with you more than anything in the world. I want to hold you close to my heart, talk to you, and hear you sing. But if I decide to go with you, the universe will be in serious trouble. Goodbye, Mom. <sighs> Musa, wait. What? I'm proud of you, sweetheart. Uh, thanks, Mom. did well, Fairy Zavelfia. Yeah, well, tell that to my boyfriend when he sees this mug. You have proven that you care more about the world than you care about your own selves. And so we will entrust you with the Water Stars. They are as old as the universe. These are extremely precious. They are imbued with the only kind of power that can extinguish the dragon fire. So I wish you good luck. Luck has no bearing on outcome of mission. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Use this box to carry them. Oh, and one more thing. You're not much fun just being a by-the-numbers girl. <sighs> and I don't see why we have to make everybody look at that mug, as you call it. <laughs> and as for you, Musa, 
I don't have the power to give you back your mother, but I want you to know that she will forever live in your heart. <sighs> you must go back now. Your friends huh? need you. Huh? Ah. From over there, let's go. If you think I'm afraid of you because I don't have my powers, you are wrong. <laughs> this is it, Bloom. You've just reached the end of the line. Any last words you'd like me to pass on to your dorky friends? You mean like huh? how much she loves us and what great friends we all are? <laughs> well, the more the merrier. <laughs> Let's do this quick with a convergence spell. Good idea. <laughs> convergence! Bloom, what a royal pain in the neck. One more minute and she would have been history. This won't go down well with Valtor, I'm afraid. Well then, let's just tell him they ran away. Yeah, good idea. Girls, I just want to tell you that I'm so proud of how you dealt with that whole labyrinth situation. Yeah, sounds like it was quite an ordeal you had to go through. We didn't do anything you wouldn't have. This box contains the three water stars that Musa, Tecna, and Stella risked everything to get. Let's all make a pact in honor of their courage. No matter what happens and no matter how fierce or dangerous the battle becomes, we won't stop until Valtor is gone. I'm in. Me too. You can count on me. You got it. Ditto for me. Winning club! Valtor challenges the directors of the three schools of magic, a fight to the last spell to proclaim the best wizard of magics. But why is Valtor so self-confident? If you're awake, there's a place for you.